Hi everyone, Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV here to do another uh, video on a beautiful motorhome. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a 2021 Newmar New Air. Uh, this is a 3543 model. Uh, this is in the caramel glazed maple cabinetry and the Como exterior inside and out. Now, before I get any further, you know, this is usually the part of the video where I say make sure you like and share and uh, subscribe to our page and we, and we would appreciate all that. But this is kind of a sad video um, in, in one sense because unfortunately, this will be Tony's Tony and myself, this will be our last video together. Um, Tony has kind of landed his dream job and he's, he's going on to pursue something else. And uh, we're, we're definitely going to hate uh, losing Tony, but um, you, you can't do anything but wish him the best. So, Tony, take it away. I right, had fun making all these videos. See you guys. So yeah, so like I said, just kind of kind of the end of an era for for uh, Tony and I will be uh, obviously we'll still be making videos here at Mount Comfort RV and we'll uh, try to make them as entertaining as possible. But I'm not going to lie, Tony's not easy to replace. He's been with us seven years. We we kind of got our groove going here. I'm a little sad. I'm trying not to be a little mad, but. Anyway, all right, without further ado, let's take a good look at this coach. Um, we'll start up front. This particular new air is on a Spartan chassis, uh, so that became an option for 2021. You're going to have the push button start and the fully digital dash uh, with this coach as well. Um, nice uh, layout in the cockpit area here from, you know, you have your, your leveling jacks and your, and your uh, transmission shifter, controls for the mirrors, dual cup holders, little USB ports behind there. Nice place to charge your cell phone right up on top of there. And then, of course, these do have the big monitors in here, the 10-inch screens, um, so that you can see um, both you know, whatever navigation you have up, your radio is all touchscreen, and then also the 360 camera setup comes through those screens as well. The passenger doesn't have it so bad either. They've got the extra wide seat up here. So if you've got that little dog uh, that you want to take with you, you can. And then the passenger also has their own little monitor here for following the GPS or the cameras, whatever. They can, uh, they can keep, keep track of what's going on. Your navigator can, can have their own screen. Uh, and then another phone charger over here for them. Up front, of course, Newmar, all solid wood cabinetry throughout this coach, beautiful. Everything's up on the struts that you see, so you don't have to be the one-arm loading person. Um, we get up into this cabinet. This is where your satellite um, equipment, actually, no, this is not the cabinet for the satellite equipment. It used to be. Um, we'll, get, we'll, get, we'll come back to that. This is for your, um, uh, your internet. I'll spit it out here in a minute. That's your router for your internet up there on the top. And if you did have any other electronics, this wouldn't be a bad place to put them. Over here, this can be all of our coach controls for anything from opening up awnings to um, our antenna, our satellite, our outside lighting, uh, some of the privacy curtains around here. That's all going to be controlled in this area. This is just storage over here. All right. So uh, as you look through, uh, one of the things that makes this new era a little different than, than some, well, first of all, I have it. It's in stock. It's for sale. Um, since the pandemic hit, RVs have been selling like crazy. Dealers are just out of inventory. As a matter of fact, this is my only available Newmar diesel right now. Everything else is sold. Um, we did this one in a little different color scheme than most of the new air products. Most of the new airs are a very kind of a black and white coach. You know, you got the white, the, the white interior and the black sable maple cabinets. And, and there's a lot of contrast there. And it's certainly a great look to a coach when you do it. But we wanted to soften this one up a little bit. Not everybody likes that black and white look. Uh, so with this one, we're definitely a little more neutral tones here throughout throughout the entire coach. And, and that has been well received. We did option in uh, this coach with the two recliners as opposed to, you know, you can put a theater seating here. You can put a sofa bed here, whichever you prefer, but this has kind of always been my favorite way. Two recliners, nice table in between you where you can set a nice glass of wine there. You're right across from the television um, or the window, depending on whether or not you have your televator up. Um, this has the Euro dinette in it as well, which is the, the most comfortable uh, dinette out there. And of course, it does have storage underneath as well. Not huge storage because you do have part of the slide mechanism underneath there, but you, when you're an RVer, you take every bit of storage you can get. All right, now notice this, this huge window here. It's going to give you um, a beautiful, unobstructed view. You don't have the crossbars or anything in there because this particular window doesn't open. Now, some people, oh, I want all my windows to open. Okay, that's fine, but you got to remember you have two um, negative pressure fans on here, fantastic fans on here that will draw a lot of air in. You know, you can open this window, you can open this, the, this little side window over here. 
you can you have a screen door up front for crying out loud you can open that turn those fans on um, and open the other windows that do open up and, and you're going to have a heck of a breeze blowing through here so I, I don't really think that's a problem that these don't open um, i think it's maybe something that we just kind of have to uh, wrap our heads around a little bit but you'll love the view there's a window just like this behind the television as well all right let's take a look at some of our storage here you know, one thing, and I try to remember to point it out, but the new Mark cabinets are lined cabinets. You know, this is, uh, keeps stuff from sliding around. It's obviously nicer to have it that way, but also keeps things quieter. Um, you know, the more hard surfaces you have, especially since that's a little hollow there because, you know, you got a dead space in between there. Since that's a little hollow, if that's just a thin panel there, uh, anything you put in there is going to rattle up and down uh, on top of there while, you, while you're going down the road. So the more cabinets you can get that are actually lined cabinets, they're quieter, your stuff stays put, you'll like that a little better. All right. All the shades in here, you do have the day and the night shades in this coach. Um, they are all power shades throughout the entire coach as well. This beautiful polished porcelain tile floor is also heated. So you can turn that heat on. For a lot of people, it's the only heat they ever use, and it's completely silent heat, heat which is great. Um, any other forms of heating we have, like the heat pumps, which this coach does have, or, or certainly the Oasis system, which this coach has, they do make some noise. The electric floor heat is dead silent, and, and that's something people appreciate about these. As we get up into here, we're going to look at some of the other storage. Here is where our satellite receiver would go. This coach does have an in-motion satellite dish on it. Um, you, you purchase your own receiver, and, and that's where it goes. And this is uh, just more storage on either side. This does come with the Blu-ray player, Samsung Smart TVs. Bose audio so I mean there's a, there's a lot to talk about here that's that's uh, you know amazing electronics they didn't skimp on this stuff of course all the Corian you see throughout is cut and polished right there at Newmar so it, it's just it's perfection everywhere you look down through here as we get into the kitchen we've got a pretty nice workspace here and then under mount stove this is an electric induction cooktop you can take this outside if you want to it does come out of there um, but uh, nice to have an induction cooktop. This way you don't have to deal with propane. This coach doesn't have any propane on it whatsoever. So then we have the one single big sink here. All right. And of course, things like the nice mo uh, nice faucet, uh, pull, pull down for the sprayer, all that good stuff. Let's look at some of our kitchen storage. These are adjustable shelves. Okay. Come back here. This is a 30 inch residential microwave convection oven. And then our lower storage. We did not option in a dishwasher on this. Now we can we can add that. If somebody wanted a dishwasher, we can add that here at the dealership level, but you lose two drawers. And that's a lot to sacrifice in a diesel pusher that's already not a huge diesel pusher. This is only a 35 foot coach. The whole idea of the new air is to give you the luxury of, of any diesel out there, but um, but, but certainly not give you um, 40 feet, 43 feet, stuff like that. So um, it, it kind of defeats the purpose to keep making the coach bigger to fit things in like dishwashers and all that. So I think you're sacrificing a lot of storage space in a 35 foot coach to go to a dishwasher. But if somebody wants it, we certainly can. Okay, these drawers are all soft clothes. So great storage here. And then Underneath there, you have storage as well as, as well as a little cubby hole to put your uh, your Corian tops here. Got those holes for those. Look at that. They even thought of a place for the trash can. We also have a fireplace. There's another way of heating this coach. What is that? Four ways now we can heat this coach. So fireplace um, does throw heat if you want it to, or it can kind of just be on for the light show. We have more storage hidden behind these doors and more lined adjustable shelves. All right. We'll finish off the kitchen here. We have... Samsung refrigerator with the freezer and ice maker below. Love that LED lighting in there. And then check out this pantry. All right. Nice setup there. So that kind of completes the kitchen. Let's talk about the bathroom for a minute. So, you know, one of the challenges of, of doing a small coach is, you know, where, where do you take out the space? We don't want, really want to give up anything. We want all the furniture. We want the bathroom, obviously. We want uh, all the necessities for life. But, but when, you're, uh, when, you're, when you're working on a smaller footprint, one of the areas that oftentimes gets skimped is, is the bathroom. They just make really tight bathrooms. That's not really the case here at all. Um, this shower is awesome size. Okay. Good, good elbow room in here. This is all tile. I've got the river rock down in the bottom. The rain shower head here. 
Um, even your your uh, uh, shampoos and conditioners have their own little containers here. This does have the preheat on it as well so that you can um, uh, not waste water while you're waiting on it to warm up. You can set it to recycle and it will recycle it. Um, so when it finally does start coming out, it'll, it'll be hot right away. All right, storage here, this mirror, which side? There we go. I love the lights in the mirror. Good setup. Plenty of room in and around the toilet as well. They even managed to put the sink a little offset to the corner here so that you have space. Uh, I mean, we all have the stuff that sits on the counters um, in our bathroom, and, and they've left you that counter space to do that. Of course, it's Newmar, and it does have the emergency exit door. And so just having an egress window, you have an egress door. If you're not familiar with this, we've done separate videos on this. If you search Newmar Mount Comfort RV emergency egress door, you will find detailed videos on how that works. But something we hope we never need, but it is there. This coach was equipped with a central vac as well. So there's this comes with tools and hoses and such that will reach from the front to the back of the coach. Uh, one of the things when the new air went from a... 33 footer to a 35 footer they did manage to get a king bed in it now they also got the 450 horsepower engine in there but that's a different story we'll cover that on the outside but beautiful king bed this is a sleep number look at the storage in here we've got six drawers good size drawers throughout up top here we have our dvd player for the bedroom but the rest of this is just all storage so you, know, you can never have too much storage on a motorhome so the bed lifts up for even more storage. Okay. There's outlets on either side of the bed with USB ports on them. So um, that makes it very, very nice when you're uh, um, plugging in your phone to charge at night. Uh, up here, we have the closet. I'm going to let you get a shot in there, Tony. And uh, you even have a safe back there in the corner. you got the shoe cubbies on the back wall. Your two extra chairs for the dinette. Um, and then the, uh, the safe back in the corner there. And then, even though this is only a 35-foot coach, look, managed to get the stackable washer-dryer in there also. All right. Now, I can go into extreme detail on new airs and all the electronics and all the functions of it, but I'm, I'm going to try to keep this video a little bit shorter so we don't run into a 45-minute video on here. I do want to cover a couple things real quick. Tony, if I can get you to come in here, we'll cover... Um, this is the, the lighting system that they're using now. There's, these touch panels are located kind of throughout the coach. And you can touch on this and then, you know, it just kind of depends on what you want to adjust. We're going to touch dresser lights there and we can, you know, turn those down um, or, or back up either one. Very nice setup when you come to this. When you come in the door, there's even an all light setup that you can hit and, and you know, turn basically everything on as soon as you walk in or turn everything off if you're walking out the door. I like that. Also, the, the bedroom privacy here, the nice pocket door here. All right, and then lastly, on the electronic side of things, we'll come out here. Let's take a look here. This is called the Silverleaf system. This is basically a tablet mounted to the wall that has all your coach functions and information in here. Uh, I'm not going to go into extreme detail on this. Again, if you, if you want that, we could even do a video. I could do a half-hour video probably on just Silverleaf. Um, but this, you know, when you walk by this, you can see basically the information you need to have. The, you know, what's in your holding tanks, what your battery charge is at, how much energy you're actually using down here. That's all handy information. And then if you want to get into more detail like climate control, this is where you would control your heating and cooling of the coach. Um, it's all right in there. It's all touch screen. Very, it's actually a very intuitive system um, and it works very, very well. So uh, nice to have everything all on one screen instead of, you know, you've got your thermostat up here, but you've got your tank levels back here. You know, it's nice when it's all in, all in one place. All right, so I think, uh, I think that'll do a pretty good job of showing you um, the inside of this coach. Let's go take a look at the outside of this coach. All right, so let's look at the outside of our 2021 Newmar New Air 3543. Go over some of the features on there. So I always like the, the Newmar flagpole holder here. There's a little insert comes with this. Hold your flag up there. Uh, this coach does have cameras all, all the way around it, as we, as we talked about, but these are the turn signal cameras mounted down low. There's a clear film on this coach as well. It's very difficult to see, but that does protect the paint. Uh, they also put that in, in areas that make sense. So if you come up here with your keys, there's a clear film around there to protect it. Also right here uh, behind the, the handle, so rings don't get it. So they, they really kind of thought that out uh, through the years. We do have keyless entry on this coach so that you can punch in your code and either lock or unlock your baggage doors uh, and or your main entry door and, of course, a doorbell. You can't live without a doorbell. 
We did option in the shiny package, I call it, on here. So we have all the stainless all the way around. Gives it that nice mirrored finish all the way around the, the lower edge. Really makes it look like a million bucks. That along with the uh, aluminum rims. We are riding on Michelin tires on this. This is a masterpiece finish uh, that Newmar does, and their paint is truly second to none. So this particular paint scheme um, is, again, kind of done more in the neutral tones. Uh, we love the black and white and silver and stuff like that also, but not everybody wants a black and white and silver coach. This one's a little more calmed down, a little, little more understated, I would say, but, but nonetheless an absolutely beautiful paint job. Frameless windows, as you can see, so you don't have those, those uh, edges around there. Uh, just much more of a, of a high-end bus look when you get to that. Now, we do have not only your main Girard awnings, which have been upgraded to the Nova awnings, so those are the ones that come out and then they kind of bend and, and, and bend down a little bit more for some extra shade, but this coach also has the power um, window awnings as well. So you have one big one here that covers these two windows, um, then you have the one back there for the bedroom window, and there's one on the opposite side of the coach as well. One of the big things they did with the new air, uh, one of the challenges was uh, giving people comparable storage to maybe what they were used to in their 45 foot rig if they've owned another rig, or um, just, just giving that much space to somebody, even if you haven't owned another rig, giving you enough storage to potentially full time in. Because coaches like this are made to spend extended time in. It's not something that you, you buy this to, to go out and be a weekend warrior typically. This is something that, that people buy when, when they're going to spend some time in it, either full time or, or snowbird or whatever. So as we go through this, um, understand this has an amazing amount of storage underneath. So we have the pull-out freezer. Let me pull that out. And this runs off 12 volt or 100 and 120 volt. And it can be a refrigerator or a freezer, either one. Tucks all the way back in there. All right. Then we have a nice pass-through storage spot for longer items, or I'm thinking my golf clubs would fit right in there just perfectly. Maybe your fishing poles, what have you. Now, this is where it really gets interesting. Here in the center of the coach, this is where um, you really have the storage of, of a, of a full-blown 45-foot raised rail diesel, but it's not a full-blown 45-foot raised rail diesel. They, they just created such a void in here with the way they do the, the Star Foundation uh, at Newmar, and it's just it's, it's an outstanding amount of storage. And we did option in the power trays on this one as well. That's a nice little touch. Because, you know, what, what you want to get out is always shifted its way to the middle. Um, our Samsung Smart TV Bose sound bar for the outside is on a pivot, and then we do have a nice little outlet here that, that's going to give you, again, another area to charge a cell phone, something like that, while you're outside. This has some of the Coach Electronics in it in here. Uh, now, that's a fully carpeted bay one more time, and you can use that for storage also. But you've got your controllers for, like, um, your, your slide-out controllers are in there. You've got some controls for the TV um, system in there, the HDMI stuff, and you also have your controls for um, your, your uh, Gerard awnings. I'll spit that out here in a second. Okay, moving on back. Nice little creatively uh, wedged in there cubby and nice LED lighting down here, so a little more storage there. Then we get into some of the niceties of the Spartan chassis. Now, Spartan does a good job of putting their filters where they're just a little more accessible. You don't have to necessarily get underneath the coach to get to all this stuff. They put it out here in a nice bay, so that's nice. These are just circuit breakers that you can use if you do put the coach in storage, and then these are your, your chassis batteries, um, the ones that actually start the engine. If you look up high, you can see your vent for the uh, uh, washer dryer, actually for the dryer. The washer doesn't need a vent, but the dryer does. So uh, that's your vent for your dryer. Um, this is a side radiator coach. Now, side radiator um, as opposed to rear radiator. And what that does for you is it gives you access. We can't really see it here because we're kind of crammed in here on the showroom. But if you open up that back hatch, you can see the entire engine. You can change belts, get to your fan, whatever, right off of that. This coach does have a 10,000 pound tow hitch on it, and it is capable of towing 10,000 pounds. And it also has the air chuck on there if you want to use an air braking system for your towed. Let's go around to the other side. All right, so we have um, right here, this is that side radiator I was referring to. Um, like I said, getting that off to the side just gives you so much better engine access. And it's really kind of a high-end bus feature. You usually see that on 350 plus uh, uh, $1,000 coaches, um, and you never see it on a short rig, okay? So to have this on a 35-footer, pretty rare. This is our DEF, which is diesel exhaust fluid. This is part of the emissions for the engine, so that's where that is filled. You come over here, we've got our stainless steel wet bay. This coach also has uh, the SantaCon in it. So SantaCon is this little hose that's curled up over here, that black one. That makes it easier for you to dump over longer distances when it comes time to dump out your tanks. That makes it nice, but, but you can do a gravity dump on this also. 
power hose reel. You would definitely uh, want to see that on here, and it has it, and you have a whole house water filtration system, black and gray tank flushes on this coach also, and you can even see how much is in your uh, holding tanks out here. You don't have to go inside to do that, and nice new, instead of the old plastic version, we've got a nice new metal um, shower, uh, shower head out here for rinsing off. You can rinse your hands, you can hose down the dog, whatever. So in here we have the Oasis Chinook heating system. That's, that's what your primary heating system for the coach. If it gets really cold, you would need that. But it's also um, your water heating system. So this is hot water on demand and endless amounts of it. So where a lot of coaches, um, you know, you might have six or 10 gallons of, of hot water. You're gonna be taking a quick shower with this. You can take as long a shower as you want. If you've got the water supply for it, you're good to go with this system. So you will really like that. Of course, this basement is extremely well insulated. This coach is built for four seasons. This is your 50 amp shore power cord. And, and this coach also has the built-in transfer switch. That's not rare, but the transfer switch with the, uh, with the surge protector built into it is a wonderful feature. So you don't have to worry about a little spike in the campground, that type of thing. And then this is where we've changed our bags for our central vac system. All right, there's some of our vacuum tools in here, more storage, and then we have our eight AGM batteries on a tray. Uh, that tray does pull out to, for, for easier battery access. If you're not familiar with AGM batteries, talk to me, we, give me a call and we can talk to you about that. Up front, this is going to be Spartan Electronics, okay? So this is some of the chassis fuses and, and stuff like that in here, and this is the bay where uh, uh, you can get to those items. And then up front, in the very, very front, we're going to have the 8KW Onan diesel generator. And the other thing I like up here is you also have that little red dial there. That is going to be for your hot water at the front of the coach. So if you want to wash bugs off the front of your coach, you can do it with hot water instead of cold water. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for us. Um, I appreciate you watching. Like I said, kind of a sad moment. This will be the official end of Chris and Tony. Uh, just kind of a bummer. but. At any rate, I can't thank Tony enough for uh, always, uh, always making us look good through countless bloopers, through countless laughs, and uh, it, it sure has been a, a great ride. We'll be back with more videos soon at Mount Comfort RV. Thanks for watching. Chris, it's been a real pleasure. It's been great. Whatever, you're dead to me. <laughs>